hi guys uh, welcome to another tutorial of uh, nodb locking uh, if you guys haven't watched our previous videos please guys uh, go back and watch our previous videos and please subscribe to the channel if you're new here uh, so you can know about the videos when i upload uh, and click the bell icon as well and please please uh, share the videos with your uh, in linkedin circle or your friends uh, so let we will talk about the intention locks today and uh, it's the kind of lock uh, that applies to the table uh, used to indicate the kind of lock the transaction the coming transaction uh, intends to acquire on the row or table so this means like if I am coming uh, let's say one transaction is uh, coming uh, to the table and it's saying that uh, I'm going for a lock so it will indicate that I'm going for uh, an exclusive or shared lock so that uh, indication is called intention locks and there are two types of uh, intention uh, locks which are called intention shared lock and then we have intention uh, exclusive lock so what are uh, what is is it indicates that transaction intends to set shared lock on individual rows in a table and the second one is intention exclusive locks uh, it says that uh, that the transaction intends like intention is to set an exclusive lock on uh, individual rows in a table so this is all about intention like this is a mechanism of uh, granular level locking uh, for the mysql uh, locking uh, sorry for the uh, inside the inodb locking inside the mysql server okay so um, what it does is that this uh, intent uh, locking reduces the processing needed to manage the locks uh, while allowing a higher degree of compatibility among concurrent locks. Uh, so intention locks are used uh, to manage other regular locks and make them compatible with each other. So that's uh, what intention locks are uh, made made to do uh, and intentional locks are introduced so to make it easier and detect the conflicts between uh, table locks and row level locks let's say for example a thread uh, acquire an exclusive lock on the whole table uh, then any row in the table should not be read or written by other so whether they are shared or exclusive so that's what we already know and without uh, intention locks uh, system needs to check the compatibility between row level locking and the table level locking separately what uh, so then here comes the intention locks what it does that here if you have intention locking mechanism uh, you only need to check the compatibility between the intention locks so the rule uh, of intention locks is that before a transaction can acquire a shared lock uh, which here a shared lock on a row in a table that's any table it must uh, first acquire an intention shared lock or a stronger lock on the table and before a transaction can acquire uh, exclusive lock on a row inside a table it must first acquire an uh, intention exclusive lock on a table okay okay then we have like so if a thread hold an exclusive lock on a table then no lock on a row in the table can be acquired so with intention lock system only need to check the compatibility uh, between the table lock uh, and intention lock not between the row lock and the table lock so this happens uh, this this what this does that uh, it speed of the conflicting checking between the locks so that's how uh, the things are working here uh, with this intention lock let's say if you didn't have this uh, intention lock uh, something may get conflicted let's say for example a transaction uh, wants to uh, in a transaction like uh, several rows update operation needs to be done okay uh, since row level lock should not block other rows level uh, and the table should not should not be blocked okay that's what uh, the concept says and in the middle of this transaction uh, another transaction may need to lock the table uh, like schema for change example uh, and because no one has locked the table uh, it has uh, it can acquire the table lock so this conflict with the previous transaction in order uh, in other words uh, there are no easy way to detect the conflict between the tables and the rows level uh, locks but it easy to detect conflict between the intention locks and the table locks so that's how uh, that's why this intention locks has been uh, introduced to just to uh, ease the conflict 
detection between the uh, table log and the intention log so that's how it's uh, this thing work so let me give you some example like uh, what uh, what's happening uh, when you uh, go for the some logs the what happened when you lock some tables uh, rows and how things is working okay so let's hi we have here let me just uh, uh, do some uh, insertion here and let me begin this uh, transaction here uh, in just a minute and then uh, I want to insert some data into this table let me think some 500 okay so you see here I have done some insertion I in my table and let's see uh, if we have some data logs here is or not so if you see here uh, we have a t3 table inside this Mori schema and this schema uh, and we have an exclusive uh, shared logs okay intention shared log uh, intention exclusive uh, log sorry not shared and it just means that I have some on this row level I have intention log okay so this is how you can see that if what kind of lock is has acquired so so this means that what i'm trying to tell you that if you want to insert any uh, rows uh, any value inside of your table then what is there that it requires an intention lock okay so this is what i wanted to show you that it needs an intention lock so and in ODB, like intention lock corresponds to shared write at the server layer and that we saw before and let's continue this example and let's say this transaction performs another read from uh, another table so then let's see what happens then let's me do that okay and if we come here and see if uh, uh, what is okay and let me check you so you see um, what happened here is there is no table level lock taken by InnoDB in this case uh, yes this makes sense because uh, uh, the rows were not locked neither because the rows are not locked just because because this is a select statement we are going for a select and and select is is a non-locking statement and so the query enjoyed the protection level server as well so if you how this uh, as this protected how this has been protected uh, let me show you that see here we have a shared uh, read log for the test uh, and shared read only uh, just to uh, isolate the query uh, from other transactions so this does not, does not affect uh, like uh, the phenomena read phenomena the phantom read and the repeatable read and the dirty read okay so this has also been uh, isolation uh, has been also performed so for this transaction okay because these all are transaction um, <laughs> what I'm doing here is it's a single transaction here so the isolation level has been also done for this one and let's uh, let me do some uh, now uh, let's uh, let's check another different behavior where uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I will uh, do get some uh, some data from a table uh, and I will say that this uh, is only available for share uh, to other transaction uh, let's say in this one uh, I have done is that uh, I have selected some data and I have told that this is for share and if you see here uh, what sort of locks we have so now if you see here I have an on this employee table I have this uh, insert uh, sorry intention shared log so this is now we are having we have is intention shared log because what we have sh told them that this is for share available so uh, this is how so we are we have requested an intention shared log for uh, and because we are telling that we are going to lock this table so uh, one thing that emerge here is a distinction between the whole table and the part of the table uh, when we try to specify required access right uh, at the table level so uh, you can uh, uh, check that what kind of combination we can have like uh, if we have exclusive lock and this means that I want uh, to be the only one who has access to the whole table and then if we uh, have like a um, 
shared log then it says that i want to able to assume that the whole table is protected from modification so it means that when i go for a shared log no other table can uh, modify the tables except doing the select statement and then we have this intention logs which intend to modify some part of the table and the rest of the table is available uh, and then we have uh, it's intended to read some part of the table and it is going to read some part of the table but the rest of the table is available except that part of the table which we have uh, like uh, in this example we did like if we, what we said that uh, anything created in this row employee number 0001 this part of the table like this row of the table is not available for modification because we said that this is for share and you can only read this so this is how work on the granular level of the mysql uh, locking work okay i hope so you guys have uh, got some idea uh, and let me show you uh, furthermore uh, how this uh, <coughs> uh, let's make us let uh, let me sh sorry uh, let me show you some figures uh, which can tell us that uh, what are the compatibility metrics so what i have done that uh, uh, i've shown this matrix and let i will let me show you that this what happens is that such compatibility relation between the access rights can be neatly summarized in a form of compatibility matrix and which has one row for each possible access right you might want to request and one column for each possible access right and as a transaction already heard so this is we have the sorry uh, this area we have is uh, this area this is called held by others and this is our request this is our request i want to have <coughs> so let's be, let's see that uh, how this transaction uh, this compatibility matrix uh, is going to uh, work so <coughs> okay so this is a, a locks rows which has been already held and let's say a transaction have is already having this exclusive lock and i won't have to have an exclusive lock here so you can clearly say that that clearly like x seems to be incompatible with anything else so if all the row or they like say uh, this has been held like exclusive some other transaction have held this exclusive uh, lock and shared lock intention exclusive lock and intensive shared lock then if i come here for exclusive lock and i want to have exclusive lock on the table then i have to wait for all these four of them okay if any of this lock has been held then i have to wait for them and and the shared locks is only compatible with uh, the shared lock and the intention shared lock and this is vice versa okay and then we have this intention lock this is only uh with so this is not intention exclusive lock is uh, not compatible with any of the x and s and intention shared lock is only compatible with the shared lock and this is the vice versa as well <coughs> so okay so next we i'm thinking that uh, should ix uh, should be compatible with ix and is and is with ix and is then yes so the whole point of having such a granular system was to permit concurrent modification to the table uh, sure we have the somehow uh, we have to uh, somehow ensure that two transaction do not modify uh, conflicting set of rows but this can be dealt uh, with at the lower level of granularity uh, when <coughs> they try to request access to individual rows all the transaction uh, requesting is is asking for a permission uh, to ask for uh, access of the rows so asking for permission servers uh, at least uh, what does that at least solve two purposes and the purposes are like uh, we can save everybody tr uh, trouble by quickly responding nope you are uh, this one is has to wait for an exclusive lock okay and the whole table uh, before a transaction even start to search the actual rows of the access so like we have this x uh, exclusive lock held by another session then i want to have intention uh, shared log then no uh, you cannot have it because i already uh, have the exclusive log on this table and if is or ix log is clear signed uh, that there is uh, work going on inside the table then if any other uh, table want to have this uh, what do you say uh, this intention and exclusive lock then is you are not allowed to do that because uh what happening here you see here uh, exclusive 
lock one to hell and we already have this ix and is you know you're not allowed to lock the whole table let's say if we are uh, if the librarian wants to come and close the library and some two students are uh, like uh, he one of them is modifying his uh, notes he's writing something and the other one is like just uh, looking for some books and he's reading then the librarian cannot lock the library because we have two people working on or them so that's how uh, the intention locking is telling them that bro uh, you cannot come and you cannot lock the library because we guys are already here so let us go first then you can lock the whole table for yourself okay so this is how and the whole table and the whole mattress uh, gonna look like uh, ix is compatible with ix and uh, is as well only if they are uh, if this ix is compatible with ix only if he is not going to uh, like modify the same row like the same row which already held by this guy okay this ix uh, so and same is the case with vice versa like in this example uh, another table wants to uh, like here what I did here that you saw here that I have intention shared lock this guy uh, nobody can like another transaction wants to come and he wants to have the intention shared locks on this uh, row uh, which have this employee number equal to one zero zero one then that, that is not possible but uh, if he wants to go for some another employee number we say we have one zero zero two 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 and then he can do that on the same table he can have an is uh, or ix log but for different rows that is possible but if he wants to come for the same table then that will be a deadlock so that is not a possible we have to wait for that so we my sql so my sql in odb locking uh, mechanism can uh, avoid the deadlock so that's it for today guys i hope so you guys have learned about, uh, so many things about this intention locking and thank you so much for watching the video and please like and share thank